it was um, you know, quite a difficult race, really. I changed the bike from the first race, and you know, I don't know if it was the, um, the change or the temperature, because the temperature was actually up quite a bit. I don't know if, what it was, but the bike didn't feel quite as good. But um, yeah, I tried my best, and you know, I quite enjoyed it. I, didn't, I, I was on the back of these two, but I wasn't much passing going on. I didn't come really get close enough to, to get past or... Uh, or anything safely so no it was good um, I enjoyed it and I had to go at the end I didn't I didn't give in and um, you know a couple of podiums is is great I've had a pretty difficult weekend but I've not really been too fast so uh, you know a couple of podiums is good and I'm uh, looking forward for the rest of the year. No not so much waiting for one um, I was hoping he'd make a mistake but he never did and we, our bike was really strong in some areas going into the corners and then uh, Shaker was really strong out the corners and there were some other places where we were identical so it was just so hard to even try and make a move without doing something stupid and you know potentially taking both of us out so yeah it was just down to Shaky having a good race really and, and not making any mistakes you know I was there kind of hoping something would happen and um, like Alex said then <clears throat> I think with the temperature rising as well the front tyres weren't that much uh, weren't really that strong as they were in the first race to make a pass to make a late break because it just started to fold a little bit so I wasn't that confident in, in committing to a big move um, but I was riding hard you know I was riding at the limit definitely um, but it felt comfortable you know the bike was working really well and we, we've, we've had a good bike all weekend from free practice right through to qualifying uh, just missed out on the front row in qualifying but we knew if we could get away with them you know we'd have a good race um, but unfortunately I had a crash in, in race one so I needed to make, make up for it in race two and I'm happy to be back on the podium again. Yeah, you know, we had a we had a, a good strategy for for the race one. Um, you know, I uh, Alex led for a bit, and then Josh came past, and I was really really happy and really content to just sort of sit and watch them guys for a bit, and I could see that we were away at the front, so everything was cool, you know. But then um, I got past Alex, and Josh and I I got plus point three on my on my board to Alex, and I thought right, if we uh, if we maintain that or pull a tiny bit on Alex for the next lap then I'm going to try and pass Josh and, and see if I can break him too and, and obviously go off at the front. But then the next couple of corners later, Alex came back past me and I thought, flipping hell, where did that point three go? <laughs> but um, I got back past Alex again and then um, I decided it was time to, uh, you know, six laps to go and I thought if I can get to the front and try and push for, you know, the last five or six laps, then, then maybe I can up the pace a little bit and, and try and break them. And uh, I got to the front. That wasn't a difficult bit. <laughs> I went straight out, the, uh, straight out the back door as soon as I did. But, uh, you know, the team worked incredibly hard because I think I made a bit of a mess of the bike and uh, I went back to the motor home, had a bit of a sleep and got myself together and uh, had to think about race two. And got a real good start again and uh you know i really wanted to win this race you know it was really really important to me you know the, the guys have worked so so hard and you know that that's for them really